saw what you all did. Do your very best to save Sean. But it was an impossible task. But I know it was difficult, it still is, it's traumatic. I know how our officers feel, but I know we are also like one family. We're first cousins, our brothers and sisters, whatever you want to call it, we all feel. And the tough thing about, about you is you just have to keep going. Just keep going day after day and seeing all these terrible things. But when you see one of us go down, then you try. It's hard, but yet yeah, appreciate your resilience for stepping back up and doing what you have to do. Let us pray. Please hear our prayers, O Creator God, as we gather on this afternoon. We remember where we were one year ago on this day. The grief, shock, and anger are not far removed from us. Although 12 months have come and gone, the feelings we felt that day are still quite raw. But here in this place, that is a place devoted to healing, we strive this day to continue the process of healing from our grief, even as we acknowledge that it will never be completely cured. The loss of a person like Sean leaves a large hole in the world that will never be filled. But his life can be remembered and honored, and that is what we seek to do here at this time. To remember all that Sean did to serve his community, to honor his sacrifice as he sought to fulfill his duty that he set out to do every day. Especially, Lord, we join here to thank you for the efforts of all those who sought to save Sean's life. His fellow officers and the paramedics and EMTs who cared for him and transported, transported him here. We thank you for the doctors and nurses and support staff here in the emergency room who valiantly cared for Sean. We thank you also for those who are who were gathered here that afternoon to support Sean's family, colleagues, and friends in the hours that followed. Gracious God, we recognize your grace and mercy displayed through the incredible show of support that is evident in the days following Sean's death. May we never forget Sean's outstanding example of serving you through serving others, and may we also honor his memory through our words and actions, both this day and every day. All this we pray in your most glorious name. Amen. 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 On behalf of the men and women of the Yarmouth Police Department, we are so grateful for the care you provided Sergeant Gammon. We will never forget your undaunted diligence and astonishing professionalism during this tragedy. We will forever be thank you. A year ago, uh, Cape Cod suffered a huge tragedy, Yarmouth Police specifically, um, but it made us all realize that we are all one family here, emergency responders, police, paramedics, physicians, nurses alike. Um, if there's anything positive that came of it, it was a sense of unification. Um, we appreciate your recognizing our efforts to try and save his life, and we certainly are always here for you and always will be here for you, and just as you are for us in the community. So thank you for recognizing that. And we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. In closing, you know, had to do a lot of talking over the past week, today, the past year, actually. We are making a lot of difference because we lost this wonderful person. And one thing that has happened since April 12th last year is we learned who Sean really was not just being a hero because he was murdered doing his job, something that officers do every day, uh, firefighters do every day. But we learned how he was an amazing person before he was 12. So what I'm asking you to do is to learn about Sean and use him as an example to whoever, and particularly if you're a parent, to point to him and say, just be like Sean and the world will be a better place. So thank you for allowing us to be here. What's happening, Mr. JT, watching the Chronicles, and it's all about positivity.
Nothing is more positive than a dedication and a plaque given to Officer Sean Gannon, um, an officer that was taken way too early, about a year ago, to this day actually, um, basically serving a warrant. Something, something that simple. Um, in the town of Yama. So everybody that's behind me is people that were involved when he came in, and the doctor, and police chief, and, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty emotional. Um, but we're here to show a lot of positivity and show the love in the family. And when we say that, that, that one love, one family, one community, we, we really mean it, and this is part of it, what's it's shown right now. It's hard, man. Love you guys. It's one love, one family, one community. So love this video, like this video, and share this video.